In the bustling world of automotive innovation, the electric revolution casts a long shadow. But while many brands race towards battery-powered futures, Mazda, the master of the MX-5 Miata, is charting a different course. Forget plug-in ports and charging anxieties. Mazda's secret weapon lies in the ocean depths. Seaweed. Bet you didn't expect that, or, or maybe you did. Um, guessing the title and thumbnail might have gave it away. Anyways, yes, you heard that right. Seaweed. This isn't a sci-fi plotline, but a bold vision for a cleaner future, where the rhythmic roar of combustion engines can coexist with environmental responsibility. Partnered with the Hiroshima University, Mazda is diving deep into the world of algae and seaweed, harnessing the potential to fuel our cars and keep the flame of the internal combustion engine alive. But why seaweed? Imagine a fuel source that grows like magic, thriving in both fresh and salty waters, demanding no precious farmland and producing oil that can be converted into biodiesel, compatible with most existing engines, including the heart of the beloved Miata. Or whatever else you like, that's the promise of Nanochloropisus, a rapid growing algae with a knack for producing natural fats, perfect for biofuel production. Professor Atushi Sakamoto, a Mazda research champion, stated in reference to the possibilities of this fuel, Nanochloropisus, oils can easily become biodiesel, giving most Mazda engines a low carbon boost. It's a win-win, reducing dependence on fossil fuels while respecting the planet's land resources. Of course, this isn't a fairy tale devoid of challenges. Scaling up production remains a formidable hurdle. Unlike the vast reserves of oil buried deep within the earth, cultivating enough seaweed to fuel millions of cars requires ingenuity and efficient processes. Costs also need to be tamed. The carbon footprint needs to be further minimalized and the infrastructure for distribution needs to be carefully constructed. But that doesn't dampen the fiery spirit of Mazda's ambition. They are already testing the waters, literally, with the Mazda 2 Bio Concept, a race car fueled by a blend of cooking oil and algae fats, proving that the concept can handle the roar of the racetrack. And don't forget the Mazda MX-5 Miata, its iconic engine purring on synthetic fuel, another weapon in Mazda's arsenal that they are using to test this fuel in the fight against climate change. The beauty of Mazda's approach lies in its pragmatism. While the world embraces electrification, millions of existing combustion-powered vehicles remain on the road. Electrifying them all is a monumental task, leaving a massive carbon footprint in its wake. Mazda's seaweed fuel offers a bridgeway, a way to reduce the emissions of these existing cars, paving a path towards a cleaner future without leaving anyone behind. I mean myself, sitting here making this video, would love to do my part. And if there were a reasonably priced fuel that I could use that would help, I would. I mean, I don't have the cash for an EV, and I also don't believe that EVs are the answer. Now, that's something that I have talked on this channel um, many times, so I'm not going to go into it there. But my point is that if there was something like this that existed, that was available to us, most of us would use it. You could still use your car, you don't need to buy a new one, and you help to reduce carbon all at once. So I don't think anybody, anybody would be against using a biofuel. They just have to make it available. Anyways, Michael Steiner, a developer at Porsche, echoes a similar sentiment, stating, many cars will be on the roads for decades and e-fuels offers a nearly carbon neutral alternative. It's not just about replacing the old, but also about finding ways to make the existing cleaner, greener and more sustainable. By the way, Porsche is making huge strides with HIF in the world of e-fuels. So if you would like to know more, I have a few videos on the topic, so just look for it in my channel and yeah, then you can learn more about their e-fuels. Their e-fuels uses hydrogen and it's also just dropping. You don't need to modify your car in any way. But yeah, I'm not going to go too in-depth in it as I have made videos on it. Anyways, the road ahead for Master Seaweed Fuel Odyssey is long and winding, with challenges lurking around every bend. But their commitment to the internal combustion engine and their partnership with the ocean's hidden potential offer a glimpse of a future where the thrill of driving and environmental responsibility can coexist. And who knows, maybe one day the rhythmic roar of a seaweed-powered Miata will become the soundtrack of a cleaner, greener automotive future. So buckle up, Gerrits and Green Warriors alike. The future of mobility is a tapestry woven with diverse threads. 
and Master Seaweed Fuel promises to add a unique ocean-scented hue to the picture. It's a story worth watching and a journey worth cheering for because in the depths of the ocean, a clean and exhilarating tomorrow might just be brewing. But let me know what you think down below. At the moment, there's a lot of work going into different ways for a cleaner, greener future. Um, there's a lot of money being invested into straight hydrogen. There's a whole bunch of companies working on e-fuels. There's many companies working on easier, cheaper ways to produce hydrogen in a green way. But what do you think is the future? For me personally, I think for new cars, I'm on a hydrogen bandwagon, so fuel cells and internal combustion engine hydrogen cars. But then for all the cars, something like e-fuels is a must. It doesn't help if it's only new cars that are green because not everybody has money to buy a new hydrogen or new electric vehicle. Most of us are going to keep the cars we have for the next 10, 15 years. So we need a way to make them greener. So e-fuels is the answer or biofuels. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you'll most probably like most of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I. Thank you.